In this video, we'll find the number of protons, neutrons, electrons, and mass number for PT, platinum. We're going to look at the isotopes of platinum. So the first thing we can do when we look at the periodic table, this number right here, this is the atomic number. So we know for PT, for platinum, the atomic number is 78. And it's the same for all isotopes of platinum. It'll always be 78 if you have platinum. And the atomic number, that equals the number of protons. So for each isotope, 78 protons. That doesn't change. Let's skip over the neutrons, talk about electrons. On the periodic table, platinum doesn't have a negative or a positive sign after it. This is a neutral element. So if we have a neutral element, the number of protons equals the number of electrons. So the electrons for each isotope, that's 78. So the only thing that's going to be different when we look at these isotopes of platinum that's the neutrons and the mass number. We can find the mass number by looking at the name here with hyphen notation. So platinum 194, this 194, that's the mass number. So we can write that in. Likewise, we have 195 and 196. So now that we know the mass number and we know the number of protons, the mass number equals the number of protons plus neutrons. So protons plus some number here will give us 194. So 116, 78 plus 116, that gives us 194. For platinum 195, we'd have 117. And then for platinum 196, 78 plus 118, that gives us the mass number of 196. So we found the protons, neutrons, electrons, and mass number for platinum, each isotope of platinum. Most of the time when you're given a table like this, you'll be given either the neutrons or the mass number. So you can figure the other one out as long as you know the protons. If you're not given the neutrons or the mass number, you can often round this number here, the average atomic mass, to a whole number and use that for your mass number. So if we had a block of platinum, we'd have different isotopes, different atoms with different number of neutrons. If we looked at the percentages, we'd have something like this. And if we took an average of these masses here based on how much there are on the abundance, we'd end up with the average atomic mass. This is Dr. B with the number of protons, neutrons, electrons, and the mass number for PT, platinum. Thanks for watching.